Sagittarius, welcome to the general love reading. I probably have cracker in my teeth. I was eating some crackers. I don't eat crackers very often. But when I need that, my inner child, right, needs that crackers. And that was like poor kid, like comfort foods. You know it. And that's what she did, okay? I feel like this uh, portal is kicking my ass. And uh, I feel like you're leading ahead of me, Sagittarius. And so it's been hard for me to try to catch up with you, okay? But I'm here. I'm catching up. So this reading is going to be, okay... From the 19th, intentionally, through the end of the month. Okay, time is fluid. It could be relevant at any time uh, from your past or moving forward. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I am an energy channel, so sometimes what spirit gives me on the card may not ring true as traditional. And I do not know why. I am so cold. My house is, is heated. I'm just freezing. Usually that's very much past energy, so we will see what comes into your reading. Uh, for those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Uh, at the end, I'm going to Patreon. Patreon is my donation-based where I do extendeds. I do uh, some early access. I will be probably this weekend doing the Febr February Collective, their first uh, and then it will be released in February to the channel. Okay, so those are some of the things that happen there. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Um, yeah, it's like you're trying to... This is why I feel like I'm following you. Like, it's like you're trying to control the whole portal. Yellow Chakra Birth Spring. Okay, you're like, I'm controlling this birthing of the whole collective. Follow me or get out. Okay. Like, that's some, that's some powerful energy there, Sagittarius, right? And you're like, I'm just standing here with my heart open. Pisha, what are you talking about? Right? You are going through a transformation. But I feel like you're trying to keep your head out of the past. Like there's this intensity of this past energy that um, you're starting to feel as you're getting closer to the end of the portal. You're starting to feel it come in. And um, oof, there's that past. Ooh, that's why I'm so cold. Okay. Yeah, it's coming for you. You can't control the portal. You can try, and you are trying, but you can't, okay? Go with the flow. All right, so overview. Thank you. What's still impacting you from the past? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Future possibilities. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Spirit. And current energies. Thank you. <laughs> Secrets. Secret heartache. This is a completion of a secret heartache. Seven of Swords. Three of Swords. And you know it. High Priestess. For some of you, this is a heartache that had to do with the end of a commitment. A marriage, okay, person, place, or thing, something that meant a lot to you. Um, you're like, I have to go through this. I love that this two looks like an 11 because 10 and 1 is 11 swords, okay? It's like you have to go through this to clear out this old energy, okay? Overview. Again, Six of Cups, what did I say? Something's coming back around. Now, it doesn't have to be the exact person, okay? But it's that energy of control. 
there's something coming around to address about the control. Like, where do you feel the control in your body? What is it doing to you? What's still impacting you from the past is this Nine of Cups. Okay. You're like, I am so utterly happy. But it's crossed with judgment and the hangman. Something wasn't good for you. Something over a two-week period, like, completely shut you down. And yet you were like, nope, I'm just happy. Happy, snappy, happy as pie, right? Looking at the sun, eating my berries, happy as can be. Current energies, again, you're looking at that final sword, king of swords, okay? You know the truth about what it is that you need to address. You really don't even need this reading. You know it. You know what you're trying to control. Future possibilities. Five of Pentacles, Emperor in Reverse. Crossing, okay? It's like you are saying, you know what? I'm not going to share my kingdom with anyone. And that could be, for some of you, a bit of a trauma response. Trying to mark your territory. Okay? Let's see what's going on. For some of you, it's just an empowerment, okay? Six of Cups. There we go, Will of Fortune. Again, it's time for this to come around as you come out of the portal to see, right, how you address this energy. Okay, the Chariot. And... You are like, no, I'm coming out of the portal. I'm in control. I'm not going to have to deal with this energy. Mm, no. Right? That's some big, powerful energy. Ten of Cups. Spirit's like, oh, yeah, really? What if we slather it in whipped cream and uh, sprinkle it with rainbow sprinkles? You still think you're going to just, no, I'm in control? Nine of Cups, the Tower, again. This was something that uh, you were like, yeah, I'm happy, but in your head, like, explosion, right? And they're showing me uh, <laughs> Peter Levine, right? Like, he says that when we don't address, right, uh, things in a nice gradual manner when everything comes up all at once like it's like a volcano it's like an explosion and I feel like that's what happened to you because there's nine cups like everything suddenly was all there all at once and it was so much and it was like an explosion judgment <laughs> ace of wands right this was like whoo magic right this sparked you up made you feel really really good the hangman Okay. And the devil. But it was also very, very toxic. Okay. King of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Okay. I, again, I feel like, and the Eight of Cups. I was just going to say, I feel like this is an energy where you were like, I feel like I'm not going to be picked again. So I'm just going to lead the way. And then nobody can, nobody can throw me out, right, of the conversation. Or, right, like, nobody gets to tell me that I don't have time for you, right? Very inner child, like, wounds. Like, um, if I control it all, then I decide when I leave. Like, if I drive, then I don't have to wait for anyone. When I just don't feel like it, I can go home, okay? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Okay. This is coming around to heal that old wound. And it's a pretty deep wound that runs all the way through your chakra system. Some of you may be having problems with your right hand. Um, but again, right, like that's the hand 
holding this ace of wands so there's like a residual energy from the past that still needs to be dealt with that you're still kind of like if you have your hand stuck like this <laughs> for months year weeks years whatever right like that's going to be painful and some of you are still waiting for that magic to drop to come back okay five of pentacles four of cups yep i don't need you i don't need your love i don't need anyone but myself okay feminine energy within you doesn't want to move forward masculine energy within you doesn't want to take action you just want to sit in the unknown on your own and envision what love is okay emperor in reverse okay knight of swords there's an aspect here of This last sword really hurts. And that's why you don't want to let it fall. But when you do King of Pentacles, right? Like you bring a new sense of stability into your life. But you're kind of stuck here, right? Uh, under the moon of, well, I get to control where I'm going, right? But do you really control the moon and the sun? Or are they just kind of floating out there controlling you? Something to think about. Okay. Tell me about the chariot. Thank you. Again, four of cups, right? Like, I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. I'm in control. Follow the leader. Ten of Cups. There's the King of Swords in reverse. As soon as Spirit offers you this Ten of Cups, laced up, like all full of everything that you want and desire, right? Your conviction to deal with this final sword kind of flips. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Um, it's like you rush right back into this at a cellular level. And I feel like why you're doing that is, in a way, you need to get inside of this so that you can understand the pressure that created it in the first place okay hierophant and the empress this was a heavy energy and empress is sleeping future emperor right like this was like a complete crumbling of maybe identity but also of, I feel like your true creativity. And until you feel into this, then you can't bring that back. The tower. Okay. Ten of Wands. I feel like you walked away from this. And you're like, yeah, I'm happy to be walking away from this. Ooh, I'm all good. Okay. The Ace of Wands. And the Magician. See, that's your creativity. That's your power. That's your spark. But you're just holding it. And holding it. And holding it. 
and it's kind of been in stagnation here, right? Because there's this energetic connection that it almost feels like it was like an energy vampire, okay? Because all the magic is going into one person's heart, okay? The devil. Three of wands. Okay, the real problem here was um, you had real expectations of emotions, not just fire. And then it's like the swells fell flat, right? And you're still waiting for what you were going to create. Because you were going to create something pretty powerful. So you're like, well, if I just get to the other side of this portal, I'm just going to create, right? Three of pentacles here with the eight of cups, temperance. Spirit is like, we want to show you the flip side, okay? We're going to show you that, again, with that sun and the moon, right? Like, you don't control them. They control you. So, especially if you have Aquarius in your chart, like, the sun could really be doing a number on you. But that, that moon energy, that void moon especially, oh, I just, I just feel it. Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups. Your heart's about to open, Sagittarius, in order to heal this final wound. That last bit of truth, that last sword. Four of Cups, <clears throat> Page of Swords. That's what moves you forward, okay? Um, and it's going to take a minute because it's on top of that five of pentacles and we've got the nine of swords here too. You really, it's going to take a minute to fill through this. King of pentacles. Okay. Ace of swords. But that reprograms everything, rewires everything, changes everything on the other side of this portal, right? Five of wands. Um. You understand, like, what they're showing me here. There's the King of Cups on the bottom. Okay, what they're showing me here is that as you dig down deeper and deeper and deeper and you're drilling into this, you see the tower. You see the real energy underneath that tower of the past. And it's almost like you are taking this different approach to fill this, to heal this, and to integrate this so that you are stable and secure. Well, let's see what the universe says here. Yeah, okay. Again, you're determined to be in control, but you're also very uncomfortable because you've been carrying this Ace of Wands for a very long time, okay? Six of Swords in reverse. Um, <laughs> you don't feel like you're transitioning. That's why you're trying to control things because, you know, it's like the, uh, you ever watch like the water spin and it kind of pulls something under, right? Like that's how you feel. And, um, In part, it's not even, I mean, in truth, it's not your war anymore. It's the past. But the, the neocortex, which is our primal brain, okay, it is not a part of time. Okay. Our thinking brain, right, is time bound. When we're in our thinking brain, we're in the now, the present. Okay, do, do, do. we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. When we're in our primal brain, 
our primal brain doesn't know the difference between what happened 30 years ago or 30 seconds ago. It's just looping chemical reactions. And that's what I feel like you're going through. Like you're going through this, like it's <laughs> like the, the uh, washing machine. <laughs> right? Like you are just being kind of spun in this chemical reaction. Thank you. But you will find balance and then you're going to kind of release the hard control you have on this Ace of Wands and then you can see the path forward and then you can move yourself forward, right? It just is going to take a minute here for you to, uh, I felt a little, a little disconnected there for a minute as far as like, I feel like some of you could want to distance yourself from this in the portal. You're like, oh, I don't want to deal with all that, right? But you need to fill it. You need to sit with this. It's very, very important. Okay. Yep. Sit with the awareness, wizard of awareness. Um, I was telling a friend uh, earlier today, and it's coming back into my mind about Tara Brock, right? It says rain. We remember something in that loop and the only way to get out of that loop is that you have to have the awareness right oh I've got the awareness I'm holding on to this wand right trying to control it and then move into the heart and how does that feel right how does that feel where am I feeling it right like kind of right investigate it and then when you find that part which is very much an inner childhood wound this wounded little part of you that is really holding on to this control because of this hurt nurture the crap out of that inner child and then you can reintegrate okay so i'm going to move to the extended i'm going to look at you look at this energy get some uh, advice from spirit moving forward some intentions all of that good stuff uh, the link is down below i hope to see you there pay what you can each month you can change that amount because it is a donation uh, i feel that strong pull of your control right let it go your solar plexus does not need you pulling against the flow of the portal all right and if i'm you're not going to the extended just click on like and i hope you i hope you very much listen to this uh let me know uh about that nurturing and that investigation down below and I hope to see you next time. Okay, much love, guys. Bye.